the man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages as The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Somewhere within the Earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Stay here now. Hello? Well, here you are, about to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the boast. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. 
I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands. They kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. There's some serious rock and roll bands. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, What's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you gonna tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. You can think what you want about me, but there's still bad guys around. Be careful. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to... well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. The Champion of Light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Oh, hell, this isn't gonna be good. Is this on? one thing down. Just one more to go.
tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weird, but more numerous. 